I was a bit surprised by your jump when you went from your colleague who uh, explained this, uh, these di two different kinds of memory mm. that also produce long-term memory, and then f uh, from that you leapt to memory being outside the body. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you connect those no, two things? Good question. Technically, um, there are two different things. The memory, actually, the actual processing memory is, was very lo for a long time, and I'm sure everybody agrees with that, limited to just those two things, the long term and the short term, as if there was nothing in between. Uh, in terms of processing, in fact, it was simply a lack, a complete lack of exploration of the, uh, of the actual substrate of brain processing. In terms of actually processing information, what Endel Holding is doing is absolutely, I think, is, is correct. In terms of how we project our identity and how much more we project our memory, our, you know, the, the contents of our memory outside our head, uh, what is happening today is clearly what, uh, what was predicted by Amon Ra. But the consequences of which is the one, it's a, it's a thing that we want to re-examine or, or, or revisit. I believe that putting the content of memory up, you know, here's another example of education. Rabelais said, il vaut mieux une tête bien pleine, bien, euh, Montaigne answer to Rabelais, il vaut mieux une tête bien faite qu'une tête bien pleine because Rabelais was calling for an encyclopedic knowledge. Everybody should contain the whole information that you know, they could be learning in school and learning from various situations. Montaigne said no. Montaigne was the very answer that Havelock is giving to, to Plato. Montaigne said it's better to have a well-made head than have one well-filled, right? So then putting the memory outside in books, Montaigne had a library. He had one of the first big libraries, uh, personal libraries that one could find in France at the time. And it, for him, that was where you know, the information was, was, was happening. Now we have this global library, which is the internet and the web and all the other things that we are developing. Um, I think that today, and I find this with my students, they're not at all stupid. In fact, they're very bright. They bring together things very intelligently. I'm much more interested in reading the papers that I'm getting now than I used to be you know, 10 or 20 years ago in terms of the, as a, my practice as a professor. They're not a bit stupid. The only thing is, it, it, the idea that you can actually get the information when you need it, not actually having to store it while you know, doing other things, uh, perhaps has its value. So my answer to <laughs> Montaigne is, il vaut mieux plusieurs têtes à peu près vides, mais uh, connectées qu'une seule tête bien faite. Better to have a few heads which are uh, practically empty but well connected rather than a well-made one. Although it's also useful to have a well-made head. Uh, yeah, here's a, like a devil's advocate statement. Uh, I, I completely agree with you in your critique of Carr. That's absolutely right. Uh, and as I said a couple days ago, I evaluate stupidity positively. I like stupidity in a lot of ways. So uh, I, if it is making us that's stupid, th that's a, a good thing. I come from what? I thought it's because you come from the Bush era, uh, okay. where stupidity was really in. Uh, well, in relation <laughs> to Flaubert, pr primarily. But I w what I want to say is, from the point of view of Gestalt therapy, which I'm involved in, and psych psychotherapy generally, I think a more serious problem that people are raising from intelligence and stupidity is addiction. Mm -hmm. And I would say the question of pleasure and addiction, because and what Siegfried said, uh, the importance of also being offline, because we're on, there, there are many, many addictions, uh, you know, alcohol, gambling, porn pornography, everything really is, can be a fear, and phobias can be addictions, and, uh, it, you know, if we consider what we spoke about, about Lyotard, libidinal economy, or Roland Barth, uh, le plaisir du texte, distinction between bliss and pleasure. So I would say the pleasure of being online and then in the, in the sort of continuum to it becoming an addiction. Uh, and that's what I think conservatives are more worried about than stupidity it's is stupidity. addiction, addiction, and, <laughs> and how this pleasure, like I mean, 
you know, they connected the rat, the, the pleasure center of the rat to a lever, a lever, and then he pushed it all the time until he killed himself. That's uh, yes, also a brain science experiment. I've got, I, I, I think yeah. it's, a, it's a valuable uh, objection, but the problem is really quite seriously the problem of electricity. 